Okay, I am back. This is the food section of this combined haul from uh, some stuff picked up in April and some stuff picked up this month. And again, some of it either was given to me free or some things were just acquired that uh, were at my mosque but were just not going to be used. For instance, underneath these two bags of uh, Colby Jack cheese that I did buy, this is just one of numerous, or well not numerous, but several bags of these flatbreads that were at my mosque. But we had so much of it and we did not have bread every night. We had so much other food that... Uh, People were just splitting it up and taking it home, so I brought home several bags, so I am good on bread for quite some time, probably the rest of this month. But like I said, I bought this Kobe Jack cheese. I got me a pack of the Hebrew National bun length hot dogs and a country crock. So this is all of the cold items that I'm showing for today, so I'm going to throw these back in, into the fridge, and I'll be right back. I am back. I also have a few things that I picked up at the farmer's market. It's just saying, I went to the farm's, first farmer's market of the season this past Saturday. I picked up two pieces of ginger, and she wanted a dollar a piece for each piece but it really didn't matter which how much they weighed but I just picked up two pieces I also got a mix of tomatoes she called some of these loose tomatoes uglies because of spots like that so I got some yellows and then I got a bag of what she called smalls So, small tomatoes. Then I have another bag. Got some Romas in here. And what I intend to do when I, uh, when I go to cut these, if I can collect the seeds from them, I will, especially the yellows. So these are some of my farmer's market finds. I don't know what variety of yellow tomato this is, but they look very interesting. And uh, she said these are a little sweeter than say these reds. Then also at the farmer's market, pure maple syrup with cinnamon. Then pure maple sugar. These, these both came from one seller and then another person has this wildflower honey. I don't know if this is raw. I can't tell by the bottle if it's raw or if it's filtered. But it is Iowa honey. And from the same seller that I got this honey from, I bought a quart of their uh, honey lemonade which I drank that day I was drinking it as I was walking through the market and then I finished it off at home and then I clean out the bottle and then it's now water storage so I will put these away and I'll be right back okay now onto the rest of it I have another honey here, which was actually a gift. This is not local honey. 
but it is sold at uh, Hillel Groceries where I get my Halal meats. But this one, it has the comb in it. So this is a pound of raw honey with comb. I have never had this before. But since this is a gift and it's in a glass jar, so once I use this honey, I can reuse the jar. So two more of these jars were brought to the mosque, but uh, from what I can tell, no one has gotten into them. I was zoomed out, so sorry. I zoomed in, so sorry about that. So anyway, the rest of the items that I have here, again, came from a variety of places. I scored a four pound bag of pinto beans. Remember, this is a four pound bag, not a five pound bag, so shrinkflation. But these Celia's these are still one pound small red beans. If I get the weight. Yep, 16 ounces. So these are still one pound. And this, this rice is still a one pound bag. And this was this little Fiesta seasoning. It's a seasoning and dip mix, but I intend to use it as a seasoning. But this was actually put inside of this snack bag just in case this bag leaked because this is a, a small time packer and it may you know it may not be sealed all the way across or just in case the the little pouch with the seasoning leaks it is inside this uh, little snack bag so I'm just putting it back in there Pumpkin pie spice that will go into storage. Basil and Tones spices is out of Ankeny, Iowa, which is a suburb of Des Moines. I actually got to tour their plant years ago. Then I have this bottle of a Cholula hot sauce. I actually bought this, took it to the mosque to show uh, someone who really likes spicy stuff but she didn't uh, have an interest in actually sampling it so I brought it home and I wanted some more turmeric for here at home this is the Ziad brand turmeric hard to focus. This old thing does not want to focus all the time. But this is a six ounce probably because of the refractive band. It almost had it, but six ounces. Hy-Vee was low or had no turmeric, so I got it from, from Hillel. And it just got me a small container of dates because I like dates. And I was in the mood for some more dried fruit. So Walgreens had these uh, buy one, get one half off of their dried fruit. So I grabbed two bags of mango. And I'm just picking up some snacks. These Cheez-It Grooves. White cheddar, I've never had those. And then I got me a pack of ramen. That came from Hy-Vee. This came from Hy-Vee, this... Uh, Quart tea bags. I've been doing the cold brew in my fridge instead of drinking hot tea since it's warmer. And because I wanted to up my uh, 
still getting canned foods. Got a can of applesauce. And that's a can of chicken. Meats are very important thing to stock up on. Another can of corned beef with the key. I found these two little cans of beef stew. Interested to see how that compares with Dinty Moore. And of course I got some corn, mixed veggies, chili beans, and then chicken chili. And then underneath that, I got some chunky soups. There we go. So four varieties, all with meat in them. And then I got me vanilla caramel coffee creamer. And this little can, small can of Pringles barbecue is on clearance at Walgreens, so I grabbed it. I got two bags of caramel cream coffee. And this is a four pound bag of sugar. Then I got me three bags. So that came from Hy-Vee. And then I got these three bags of instant potatoes. The Golden Select. Roasted garlic. And the sour cream and chive. So this is pretty much what I got for food for this run. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this video uploaded. So I hope these give you ideas on adding to your preps. And if you can get to a farmer's market to get some of these specialty items. or locally produced. That's even better because now that it's warmer weather, these farmer's markets are running. My friends, the Brahms family, whose property I've camped on a few times, they are busy with the markets in and around their area, plus selling direct from their farm. So go check out the local vendors, especially the markets, but whatever you can do, even if you use food assistance, you know, the food assistance benefits have been reduced for those that get them, but still, if you are on food assistance, you get the SNAP benefit, make good use of it. And if you have to go to a food bank, food pantry, to add, add your food supply, even though they're having difficulties as well, and the main thing is get stocked up on food, because you never know what things are going to be like. I didn't get any grains other than the rice this time, but that may be another time. So, uh, we'll change it up in June. So, anyway, keep adding to your preps because things are probably going to get a little strange. Anyway, thanks for watching and catch you on the flip side.